Well, just for folks who might not be at the Germantown Outpost, I'm sitting down with uh, Russell McCutcheon and Walter, uh, who are Walter Jackson, who are really leading our Germantown Outpost, one of our four, uh, who just recently got back from. Uh, tell me where all you went. You went to Uganda, Uganda, and Kenya. Oh, drove Kenya? the backside to Kenya from Uganda. Okay. Uh, got back when? April the 30th. I think that was a Monday. Yeah. My days are, are twisted. All right. So very recently. I mean, as you look back on your time 12 days kind of traveling around that area what are some things that's that are going to stick with you that you saw happen that you can visibly see the work of fellowship or engage you know in that space yeah man um that, man just the the relationships that uh man have been built in africa um over the years i think uh it's been going over a decade mm -hmm. and so man just the faithfulness that we've seen just in the work that they've done um and the people that they've not only built the relationships and discipled and grew has been just amazing um they talk about there's a school there there's also a church um and they we went and visited um, the pastor there uh, pastor sam and um, his uh, wife and then the kids and they like man this started out with just um a couple of posts and a tin roof and now they have several buildings um, and they're working on um, even building uh, extens extension to one of the buildings, building restrooms for boys and girls. And uh, man, there were how many? Like, man, uh, it was probably about 50 to 60 kids. kids there. Um, um, how old? Under um, 10. Yeah, okay. everything everything was under 10. If there were some old over 10, you can count them on one hand. But everything was very, every child was very, very young. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what was that like? Um, Obviously, you guys traveled there with some things to, to help support the trip and help support the people there. Uh, can you describe what the pads are? Lenovo pad, it, lo it looks like an iPad. Um, it functions, I would compare it, I may be getting this wrong, but it functions like an iPad to me, but it was uh, they had a special feature, it's a projector, so you can watch movies, but you can project from that pad onto a wall to watch any, any training and they teach, there was a lot of David Platt stuff on there, and so, for many of the, the the followers of Christ over there, and it's a lot of them, I can see why the church is growing there. Many of them don't have access to resources because we were um, we were in cities, but they may not have had the the access to things that we have. So with with these Lenovo pads that um, that I, I got from the church from Fellowship that we gave out, I just got with pastors. And it was after a day of teaching, I got with the pastor, and then we would get on a wall in a hotel. And I just say, hey, this is a resource for you. You can use this. Um, this is how it works. And so I just turned it on, walked through it, showed them where all the videos were and say, let's let's see this work in action. Let's get to a wall. No one around, turn the project on, press, hit the video, it's playing. And the thing, their reaction was for both, both leaders I, I, I gave it to personally, they stopped, they hugged me and in very sincere words, they just said, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Um, because they just wanted even more resources because they are they are serious about the mandate of making disciples and how can they train their leaders. Yeah. Well, and, and those pads, they come loaded with a bunch of material for loaded. them. Loaded. Like, it's, I, I don't, I can't put a money uh, price tag on it, but yeah. it's, it's, it's a nice chunk it's with all resource. of the good resources, with all of the resources that are, that were on it. Plus it's a projector. So the investment that was made was a, was a, was a major investment and it was a blessing for the people there. So coming back, as you communicate your experiences with the church or with your families, like what, what was one thing you take away from the trip that you say, man, this would be encouraging for people back home to see, to hear, um, to know what's happening. I think that's that's a loaded question, but I, I think the the thing I would probably say in a short time is that our brothers and sisters in Christ there are praying for us, that they are aware of the things that's taking place here in America, and they are praying for the church. They are praying for believers to to obey the scriptures. Every place I went, just having conversations with pastors in their homes, I got the sentiment that they are thinking of us. They are praying for us. So I would just love for the body to know that.